pork belly. It's our favorite. I'm craving for it once in a while. The texture, it's like melt in your mouth. It's so tender. This is like a umami party. Yeah, it is. Umami disco, here mm -hmm. we go. <laughs> this is Soul Food, an American journey through the Chinese kitchen. I'm Gerald Tan, and right now, I'm tasting Dong Po Ro, braised pork belly. They're right there. Oh! <laughs> I can't do this! You need to find someone else! Number one in Evanston, Illinois. Do not call it a suburb of Chicago. Second rule, it's not just another college town. Even if it is anchored by Northwestern University and is named after one of the founders. Situated on the north shore of Lake Michigan, Evanston has always marched to the beat of its own drum. Proud of its architecture, love for the arts and diverse population welcoming community that drew Sandy Chen, who grew up in Zhejiang, China, to start a restaurant here, offering a unique menu. Uh, when I first opened, I didn't know what I was doing. A lot of uh, people from Zhejiang, Wenzhou, they were very well known in China as entrepreneur. Um, so I said, okay, we'll try. Maybe dip in my butt, I have something, you know. So um, yeah, so I came up with like, hey, these are eight regional Chinese authentic cooking technique and ingredients. Um, I put the menu as a layout for eight regional cooking. Do people come in and kind of go, oh my gosh, I tried this when I was traveling through, you know, kind Happens of Happens all problems. the time. Happens all the time. Especially in the last 10 years, you know, China has opened, you know, a lot of foreigners and they go to China and, and, and travel. So getting really popular. Can you remember when you started to cook? Well, maybe like 10, 11, when I came back from school, I will always prepare dinner for everyone. Mm. Yeah. My mom, like all the moms cook, but I think my dad's better, but don't tell my mom. <laughs> <laughs> so my mom told me a lot of basic, you know, how to, um, yeah, walk around with the walk. But my dad told me a lot about like chemistry, about mm. food, like what ingredient, what spices to go with or what not to do. chemistry and even a little alchemy helped turn a prized cut of pork into one of the most recognizable Chinese dishes and a pride of Zhejiang. This dish is what we talked about earlier is the braised pork belly or in Chinese we call it Dong Po Zhou or red braised pork belly. So you have to select a really good, a little bit fatty uh, pork belly has the skin, a little fat, a little lean. And then um, you have to like uh, sear it until the skin is um, a little bit more um, dry. And then you will braise for about 50 minutes with all the spices. And then also we will steam for another 50 minutes. The unique about the steam at the end is trying to like burn away the fat. It looks like there's this layer of melted chocolate on it. Like <laughs> shellac chocolate ganache. Yeah. You know, it's like a layer of the earth, right? Yeah. And I just want to sink it's through really, all... It's really, really tender. It actually like, kind of really melts in your mouth. I've been waiting a very long time yeah. for this. Yeah, yeah.
It just sounds to me, Sandy, that you really love your job. I do. It's my life. Oh no, I don't know what I'm gonna do without the restaurant. I think for small business owners, we need so much passion. Um, it it takes like insanity to do it. <laughs> it's like 24/7. You sleep with it. You breathe with it. I think um, that really encouraged me to continue doing and continue serving. Um, not necessarily like, oh, we have to make so much money. Um, I think at the same time, um, success builds on how much you give back. So we have a Table 23 charity program. So um, Tell me about that. Yeah, yeah. So if you um, make a reservation, request Table 23, we donate 23% of total your check back to that common, uh, 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 organization that we Amazing. support. Um, so. We are here 17 years, so we have 17 organizations. You're pretty extraordinary, I have to say. <laughs> I think this has a lot to do with how I grew up in my small village. It's all about our community, and like, if you do something, your mom will know. <laughs>